Hi, good morning. It's good to be with you again. And today we're looking at 2 Peter 3.9. 2 Peter 3.9 reads, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Now, Peter here starts off by saying the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. What he means by his promise, or the Lord's promise, is he's talking about the return of Jesus Christ, the second coming of Jesus Christ, in which he will come to judge the living and the dead. He will come as judge, not savior, but judge. He will come to judge us all. And he's saying that that day will come. That's what he's saying when he says, the Lord is not slow. Some people, um, as some understand slowness. So some people were um, just living their life, uh, everyday life without expecting the Lord's return. But Peter is reminding us to live our life as though Jesus will come back that day because he will come back. In fact, Matthew chapter 25, the, uh, Matthew says that he will come like a thief within the night. So he will come suddenly. He will come unexpectedly. And so we need to live that way and live as though the Lord is coming. Not because we are fearful, but so that that will motivate us to live a life that will honor him, that will glorify him, that will show that we love him. And so um, Peter is saying that day will come. That day is imminent and it will surely come. And why is the Lord taking his time to come, as some people uh, think of it, right? A um, couple, couple reasons. Number one, the Lord's time is not like our time. God's time, God is not limited to time and space. We are limited to time and space, but God isn't. In fact, Peter says in a few verses uh, prior to this, he says that one day to the Lord is like a thousand days. So again, he's not limited to time and space. Okay. Uh, the second reason is what he says in this verse. He says the reason why he is, it seems like he's delaying his timing, is because he is patient. He doesn't want anyone to perish. God is a patient God. He's taking his time so that mankind, his desire, his hope, is that mankind will repent, that people will come to repentance and believe in Jesus Christ. Okay, so God his desire here is important to understand his heart he doesn't want to judge he is a god full of compassion and love and his desire is to save and he's giving us this time while we have time here on earth to repent and so it's very very important that we make the most of this opportunity to repent spend time repentant in, in repentance now repentance is a lifestyle for christians and so I'll get to that a little later, but we need to understand it's a lifestyle. When you get saved, you repent, obviously, right? You repent of your sins and you turn to Jesus Christ and you receive him as Lord and Savior. Now, it doesn't stop there, but repentance is an ongoing thing for us. We don't repent um, to get saved once we get saved, but we repent so that we can grow in Christian faith or Christian maturity okay in other words it's a it's a process of sanctification repentance is is a vehicle in which a tool in which God uses for our sanctification our personal holiness our spiritual growth okay and so it's important that we learn to repent we repent each and every day one thing to understand is that repentance is in itself is not does not merit us anything it's not a grace um, but repentance rather it's a tool it's a vehicle to take us to grace 
which, who is Jesus Christ. And so repentance, the, the act of repentance, when we get on our knees or we bow our hearts and we repent before the Lord, we, it's taking us before God and so that we can experience his love and his grace and his mercy. And so important, that it, that's so important for us as believers to learn to repent each and every day. Make it a lifestyle. Why? Because each and every day we fall short of God's glory. On a practical level, we sin against God every single day. And so every single day, we need to learn to repent. We need to learn to unload our sins, unload our shame and guilt before God, and, and then going before Christ and experiencing His love and His mercy, His forgiveness every single day so that we can grow in maturity. So if you feel like there is blockage in your Christian faith, you feel like there is a, there is a cloud over your head, there is a hindrance in your walk with Jesus Christ, then I want to encourage you and suggest to you to repent before God. Just humble yourself. Repentance is not a bad thing. It's a great thing. It's a, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a good thing in the eyes of God, and, and it should be in our eyes, that we can come before Christ and repent. So every single day, uh, learn to repent. Learn to confess your sins. Learn to confess your sins and repent of them specifically. If they're specific sins, just name them as they are and before Christ and ask God to cleanse you and purify you and wash you free from those things. Okay? And so you can experience the freedom in Jesus Christ. So you and I, let's learn to do this. Let's learn to humble ourselves and repent before the Lord because when we repent, there is truly times of refreshing, times of revival in our hearts. So may God bless you as every day you and I, we repent before the Lord. God bless you and have a wonderful week.